guys are cute, I suspect. My name is Boris, I'm going to play a couple of songs for you. We're going to have a good time. Maybe somebody will get naked, we'll see. For now, please uh, behave yourselves. For now. Actually, don't. You live only one time, so you should act as inappropriately as possible at all times. This is called Pakoi. What an incredible voice. 
on that pretty lady. And a sick band, huh? Give it up for them again, please. I'm gonna... Hmm. Geesh? Am I mispronouncing this? Guish. Ah. You learn something new every day, I guess. What does that mean? Okay, tell me later. Let's take psychedelics and then you can tell me. It'll make more sense. Actually, I think life makes a lot more sense on psychedelics than it does in real life. Um, but I guess that's a matter of opinion. This is called watching. You guys are fucking awesome, by the way. Thank you for coming out on a Wednesday night, Cleveland. What a beautiful space this is. What an incredible artist. What a legacy. Thank you for supporting arts. It's the most important thing that we have. It's the only lifeline that we have with God. What is God? I don't know. But whatever. I said something really weird. Here it comes. <laughs>
Cause I've been watching, watching you Gaze in my eyes if we stack here side by side Cause I've been watching, watching you all night Watching, watching <sighs> Is it too much to ask if I say what's up my mind? so much for being here. Um, this is kind of interesting. Two days ago, I was playing a show outside of London in the um, UK. And then I flew in the morning to New York, picked up my car, I was dead. Had to jump start it. Drove a little bit, died again, jump started again. Two AAA calls. Made it to Pittsburgh, played a show there last night. And I'm here with you, and it was all worth it. Because, because you guys bring amazing energy, and this is why we do this. And not just us, artists, musicians, everybody, all of us. We create the show, not the person on stage. All of us. So thank you. I'm gonna play uh, a couple more. Uh, before Ziggy D takes the stage, so please stick around for that. He actually put this show together. He's awesome. Although right now he sounds like a um, a muppet, a muppet, or Winnie the Pooh, or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not from this country. English is a second language. Uh, I know like Carlson and like Nupogadi and all shit like that. You know, Soviet cartoons. I don't know anything about music. <laughs> They're cool, by the way, if you ever want to check them out. They're really, really out there. The music is really great. This is called Risk Everything. It's the title track of an album that I have coming out this year.
Soviet Union. But um, I didn't turn out to be a businessman. <laughs> um, I just love marijuana way too much. <laughs> but it's okay. It's all right. Um, he's, he's gotten over it. He's 89 now, you know, so. Um, but it, this part of the show I call an ode to my father. I'm selling t-shirts and hats. This is the, as good of a businessman as, as I'll ever be. And also one more thing, uh, 
If you want to stay friends forever, you have no choice. You have already silently and, um, uh, you know, you have committed without knowing, unknowingly committed to this. However, if you want to do the digital friendship thing as well, that weird thing that we all do, I'm Boris and the joy on everything, all the things. Um, and my name is Boris and I'm your new best friend from New York. So please, I hope to see you again and again and again. I think it's time to party. This song is called Vultures. Alright. Okay.
The reason why I want you to sing something is because it feels so fucking good. I do it every night. I wrote this song, Vultures, about never being accepted for either my Soviet roots or for being a weirdo or being too flamboyant. And all the other things, being a weirdo musician and always talking about really weird shit, like life making more sense and psychedelics, etc. and so forth. And I know that everybody here has felt that way before. And this line, it really feels good, it's my mantra. And I just want to share it with you. And it's really simple, and you've heard it already in this song. We exist for this feeling. And the feeling is, we don't give a fuck. And we love ourselves. And that's all that matters right now. So, uh, this keeps going. There it goes. This thing still works. So it goes like this. We exist for this feeling. We exist for this feeling. You can try it with me. We exist for this feeling. And if you're shy, I'm shyer. Trust me. We exist for this feeling. Alright, now for real. We exist for this feeling. This next one is not music. I was just gonna set it on fire and kind of just flow through the audience. <laughs> All right, I see what's going on here. Okay. All right. This place is fucking nuts. Have you guys walked around here? I was scaring the shit out of people. I was doing like vocal warm-ups, which are like, like, <laughs> and, like, and walking by like people like doing ballet, and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you see the guys using the uh, swords? Yeah. Right? It's nuts. I know! <laughs> you guys are very lucky to have this in your town. This is so cool. Alright. This song's called Riot Fire. It's also off of the new record that's gonna come out very soon. It has to. I must, I must finish it. Pro Tools will be conquered. Oh. Edison ta taught us that in order for electricity to work, the circuit has to be completed. <laughs> Start a riot 
set the world on fire.